Welcome guys to another video today. This is my WrestleMania reactions video. Um, and I'm just going to go really quickly and just tell you what I think of WrestleMania. So you had Braun Strowman versus Shane McMahon. Oh, by the way, warning, there are spoiler alerts here. Uh, but anyways, Braun Strowman beat Shane McMahon. He ripped up the cage. You know, Shane had his goons, Elias and Jackson Riker, trying to help him. But you can't stop the monster among men, Braun Strowman, because he did it for anyone that's been called stupid. For anyone that's been called stupid and called names. It was just inspirational. You go, Strowman. And Strowman beat Shane McMahon. Then you have The Miz and Morrison versus Bad Bunny and Damian Priest. Bad Bunny, just wow, you know, he's a music star, but he actually had some, some cool wrestling moves that I think shocked really everyone. Uh, I mean, that was really crazy how, actually, how good he was. Um, but, yeah, Bad Bunny and Damian Priest ended up winning that match. Uh, that was a pretty cool match. You had Seth Rollins, Cesaro. Cesaro won. Pro and Cesaro proved that he could have singles uh, success uh, at WrestleMania. Um, then you got the United States Championship. <clears throat> where Sheamus got his first <clears throat> singles title in five years. Uh, and I think it's, it's overdue. You know, he deserves it. Sheamus has been a very good athlete. And he beat Riddle. Finally, we have a new uh, United States champion. And then you talk about Omos. That was really interesting on night one. That was one thing that I found really interesting and really noteworthy. Is Omos uh, winning the, the Raw Tag Team Championship with AJ Styles. And he's going to have big potential. He's going to do big things. I mean... I knew he was, uh, and I think everyone was excited for his uh, WrestleMania debut, and that was just really awesome. And then, of course, you go to the WWE Championship, the main event. What a match. You know, obviously, Mac Drew McIntyre is one of my favorite superstars, and I was obviously very disappointed when he didn't win that match. Um, but I did feel like Bobby Lashley deserved it. I mean, he fought hard. Uh, Lashley has proved that he's worthy to be a world champion. Um, f something I find noteworthy uh, in this rivalry is that Lashley and McIntyre have a lot in common. I mean, they've both been waiting for world championships for so long, and they finally got it. Uh, and I think this re this uh, rivalry will continue. They're going to have a match at WrestleMania Backlash, which, by the way, is the dumbest pay-per-view I've ever heard at. Like, where the heck is money in the bank? Um, but, yeah, Lashley won. And then, remember, this is all just night one. Night one was very impressive. But then you talk about night two. And then when you get the night two, you talk about Kevin Owens beating Sami Zayn. Then Logan Paul betraying Sami Zayn. Then Kevin Owens doing a stunner to Logan Paul. I mean, that was that was pretty cool. I, I like that. And I think we all knew Kevin Owens would win. You know, Sami Zayn, he's the stop of his conspiracy theories. But then again, though, I think he has a point. I kind of feel bad for the guy, you know. He's been getting made fun of, and everyone's out against him, sort of. Um, but... But, um, well, a little bit, I barely played The Intercontinental all. Championship, there was a Nigerian drum fight. That was Apollo Crews versus Big E, where Apollo Crews beat Big E to become the Intercontinental Champion. And some mysterious guy came and helped Apollo Crews. I didn't know who that was. At first, I thought it was that guy from Retribution with the dreadlocks. I think it's Macy's called. Or T-Bar, I don't know, I, I confuse them. But, yeah, that was confusing, but Apollo actually won, and, uh, you know, I think this is actually good. Uh, you know, I was rooting for Big E, but I think this Intercontinental Championship win will carry on his uh, Nigerian character, and um, I think that's really, really good. Uh, but um, other things, you got Randy Orton the Fiend, Randy Orton beat the Fiend. But then we got the main event, the World Championship. Roman Reigns is still the Universal Champion. Well, because Roman... 
I'll tell you one. One sec. Five. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Roman Re Roman Reigns won. Yes, he defended Edge and Daniel Bryan. That was just, it was so good. And I think it's best for business to have Roman as the universal champion. I was so happy when that happened. But yeah, that's my WrestleMania take. Uh, and there's the right-hand man, Jey Uso. Uh, and that He's seems like a perfect time.